Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Um, I want to just do a video. I plan on doing this in class as notes, but if you missed it or absent or you want to just review, uh, you can use this video. Um, we're going to talk about writing an equation of a sinusoid if you're given the graph, uh, and we need to write it in either the form y equals a sine b x minus c plus d, or y equals a cosine b x minus c plus d. Um, okay, so <clears throat> what we're, obviously what we're looking at is a sinusoid, and we have to, um, at, at this point I think, you, you might want to just scan the picture and find either the sine or the cosine shape. And so what do I mean by the sine or the cosine shape? Well, what I mean is, for instance, this right here is the sine shape. Right, if you graph your normal sine graph, sort of the fundamental shape where it starts at the origin is right here. So there's my sine shape. So let, let's start there. Let's do all our analysis on that shape. So how is that going to look? Well, the best thing I think to do is to pretend for a minute that this is like the, this is the pretend origin, right? Normally sine starts down here, the sine graph, but it's starting right here. So let's call that like the pretend origin, and we're just going to, and I'm going to make like a dashed line as though that's the pretend x-axis. And that's good enough. Okay, that's like my pretend x-axis, and this is like my pretend y-axis. All right. Now we've decided to do this as a sine. I think I'm going to do a couple. But we're going to, we decided to do this as a sine graph, so we're going to write it as y equals. Now we got to fill in our a value. We are deciding to do the analysis as a sine graph because we're doing it on that yellow picture, that yellow shape. So y equals sine. Now I got to fill in the b value. X minus, and I want to leave a blank there. And then I guess I'll put a plus. All right, so we have to, um, we've got to figure out these pieces. Now, the easiest one I think to, pick, to, to figure out is the amplitude. Because if this is our pretend axis, the amplitude, well, the midline here that it's oscillating above and below is at 2. And the, the height of the sine graph above that midline is, well, it goes from 2 to 5. So that's uh, amplitude of three, and the, you know the sine graph isn't flipped or anything. It's this is the the normal shape. It's not like inverted or anything. So we can just write a three there. We don't have to put a negative three. So there's my a value, and another easy thing to, to catch is how high up is this starting from uh, from the x-axis, right? Normally the sine graph starts right here, but now it's starting up vertically at two. So that's a vertical shift. So I'm going to put a 2 in there. Um, what else is easy? Well, normally the sine graph starts right here at 0, but it it's starting here to the right of 0. So it moved. Again, by the way, this is covered, and hopefully you can see this. This is 1, 2, 3. I can write that 1, 2, 3. That's 4, in case you can't see that. Um, but in any case, the the, it's it's starting one unit to the right of where it normally starts. It's starting one unit right and two units up. So one unit right means it got shifted right. So I got to do uh, shifted right one unit. So I'm going to put a minus one there. So I got shifted right one and up two. And notice this is all stuff we learned when we did transformations. Um, so what's left is that b value there, and that's usually the trickiest trickiest of all of them. So this is how we I, I would do this analysis. We know that the period is the length of one complete cycle. So this goes from 1 to 5, right? That's where it does one complete cycle, 1 to 5. So that means that the period, that means my period is 5. Uh, nope, not 5. That's incorrect, Mr. Ferullo. It's 5 minus 1. It's the, it's the length of this. Cycle. So from 1 to 5, that, that length is 4. So the period is 4, um, but the period 
is also 2 pi divided by that b value, which we don't know. So now I've got a little equation, 4 equals 2 pi over b, and I can solve by cross multiplying here. 4b equals 2 pi, and divide by 4. So b is 2 pi over 4, and 2 fourths to, uh, divides into 1 half, so it's, it's like 1 pi over 2, so pi over 2. So there is, there is that sinusoid written as a sine graph. Let's quickly do one uh, with a cos as a cosine. Um, so let's find a cosine shape. A cosine shape looks like it would be right here. We'll use purple now. That's the cosine shape. If you want to make me just erase this, make it a little less confusing. I want to leave that horizontal axis line because I think that still applies, right? It definitely, uh, it's definitely going up and above that midline too. So we're viewing this as a cosine graph. We're going to do our analysis on the cosine shape. All right, well, one thing you should notice that hasn't changed is the amplitude, right? Whether it's a sine or a cosine graph, the amplitude is still just going to be 3. So that's not going to change. And um, what else isn't going to change? Well, obviously the period isn't going to change either, right? I mean, if we if we tra track the, the length of this one cycle here as a cosine graph, and that's 6, it goes from 2 until 6. But that's just a period of 4. And we already figured out if the periods for b must be pi over 2, so that didn't change. How about the shift? Well, this is where something might change a little bit. Right? Here's my new y-axis, because right, cosine normally starts, right, it starts at 1 here and goes down. But it's up here now, so the y-axis now is, the pretend y-axis is at 2. So, how is that different? Well, it's a shift to right of 2. Right? Normally it's over here on the y-axis, but it's now starting at x equals 2, so I got shifted right 2. And obviously it's still got shifted up uh, because it's it's oscillating above this new midline here. And normally a uh, cosine normally oscillates above 0, but now it's oscillating above 2, so it got shifted up 2. And here it is, right? So notice not there's not much difference. That's the same that's the same, that's the same. All that's different is the phase shift and that we're viewing as a cosine graph. Okay, so there's two examples and there's others, right? There's other shapes you could have done. We're not going to do them, but just so you know, you might have seen this, this sine graph here and done that shape. All your analysis on that shape. Everything would probably be the same, it's just that you viewed it as a shift left, right? Or maybe you saw this cosine shape right here. Maybe you saw that cosine shape, or that cosine shape. It doesn't matter. But however you viewed it, it's fine. Um, but then I, I recommend your pretend, making your pretend you know, new axes, and just follow the reasoning we've done with transformations, paying particular attention to the B value, because that's usually a little bit tricky.